Hey guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here bringing you an awesome video. My overall thoughts on Six Flags' 2018 editions, and I know tons of other YouTubers have done this either yesterday or the day before. But overall, I'm now going to talk about my overall analysis. Throughout the next three days, there are going to be quite a bit of videos on the Six Flags 2018 announcements and my overall thoughts on the coasters so yeah we're going to be moving on to the main part of the video the main focus of the video which will be explaining my overall thoughts on all of the rides but I will go more in depth with the coasters soon once we are done doing this video and in the upcoming few days I will do an overall analysis on Twisted Cyclone, as well as Wonder Woman Coaster, the SNS 4D Free Fly for Six Flags Mexico. So, yeah. But here are my overall thoughts on all of the rides. First, we're going to Six Flags Great Adventure, where they are getting the Cyborg Cyberspin. And this is a pretty cool attraction. It will be the first of its kind, and it looks like a pretty crazy flat ride. I've heard of that it has a pretty long rotation cycle, and overall I think it will be a very good flat ride for Great Adventure. Moving on to Six Flags New England, they will be getting Harley Quinn Spin Sanity, a frisbee ride. It's going to be one of these Zampero Giant Discoveries. These are very large frisbee rides, and they're really good. For the Great Escape, they're getting a flat ride called Pandemonium. It just looks like another carnival-style family ride for this place, kind of like the Super Loop. But overall, it does look like an okay addition, I guess. But not. this is probably one of the worst additions out of all the parks. So, yeah. Sorry about that, Great Escape. But they need to get something decent, like a nice flat ride in the future. But... We're moving on to Laron, where they're getting some carnival rides, a Tilt-A-Whirl and a Scrambler. Overall, pretty solid family rides. Not really too much they're adding. They're probably just renovating the rides. Now we're moving on to Six Flags Great America, where they're going to be getting a new lazy river called Wahoo River to, re to replace their old lazy river. It will be longer and much improved from the previous rivers, so that's a good thing. Now we're talking Six Flags Great America. They're getting the world's largest super loop. This ride doesn't have a name yet, unfortunately, but it will be the world's largest super loop. I think it will be a nice addition for Six Flags Great America, but I wish they got a water park expansion. But unfortunately, we don't really know the name, so we don't really know what to expect with the name. But I think... This will be a nice addition, but unfortunately, King Chaos will be removed for this. I wish King Chaos could still be at Great America. They're just replacing one flat ride with another, so they aren't really improving their flat ride lineup whatsoever, which is kind of weird. Six Flags St. Louis is getting Typhoon Twister to expand on their water park. This will definitely be one of the best water slides at their park. It looks really fun. So... We're moving on to Six Flags Over Georgia. The RMC treatment to Georgia Cyclone is coming here with Twisted Cyclone. Sweet Drop, Great Inversions, Sweet Bank Turns as well. Nice airtime as well. And it has one of the modern RMC trains that looks like a car or a train. Or some sort of automobile vehicle. It looks pretty cool. I think that it will be definitely one of the best coasters at Six Flags Over Georgia. And I know Wonder Woman Golden Lasso will definitely be one of the best coasters at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. It looks great. The inversions look awesome. I think this is the second best coaster there, in my opinion. Despite its low capacity, it looks great, even though it's a clone. Six Flags Over Texas, they're basically getting the same thing as Six Flags Great Adventure. Harley Quinn Spin Sanity, but here's the worst part about this. Even though this flat ride looks really good, they already have a ride 
called Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. Why would they have two rides with the same name? That's just weird. It makes no sense. I feel like they will eventually change the name, like they did with Total Mayhem, and then they just changed it to the Joker for Six Flags Great Adventure. I could imagine that. Changing it to Total Mayhem instead of having it as Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. But pretty weird. We've never seen a park with two Nate, two Harley Quinn Spin Sanities or two rides with the same name. Kind of weird. That's kind of a record breaker, I guess. I don't know. Pretty bad record breaker, if you ask me. And now we're moving on to Six Flags Mexico. They're getting Wonder Woman Coaster, which is an SNS4D free fly. For once, we are seeing an SNS4D free fly not named the Joker or Batman the Ride. And we're seeing another Wonder Woman themed coaster in the Six Flags chain. So Wonder Woman is getting a good year for coasters with the Raptor and the 4D free fly. So I think this will be a nice addition for Six Flags Mexico. They did need a 4D coaster. And I think this was a nice addition. I think this will be one of the better coasters there. Probably one of their best because... Yeah, the rest of their coasters aren't the greatest, but this will be definitely a great ride there. We're moving on to Six Flags Magic Mountain. They're going to be getting some pretty cool stuff. Crazanity, the world's largest Simperol giant discovery. It'll be a very fun flat ride. They're renovating their boardwalk area. And they're making the park go daily with 365 days of thrills, which is awesome, so... Good news for Magic Mountain fans. Six Flags Great Adventure is getting... Not Great Adventure. Discovery Kingdom. They're getting Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster. And this looks actually like a pretty cool coaster, in my opinion. Some pretty cool inversions. You just go upside down ten times. Speed past the other train. And since there's probably two stations for this, I feel like the capacity will be much better than the actual Super Loop. So yeah, this is basically the improved version of the Super Loop, and it's more of a roller coaster in figure eight style layout. It looks pretty fun, and we already know Water World is getting a kid area with a giant tipping bucket. So yeah, that was all. I know they're gonna be having their usual fright fest and holiday in the park stuff in the Mardi Gras, but those were. My overall thoughts on the 2018 editions for Six Flags. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and I will make an overall analysis of Twisted Cyclone coming to Six Flags over Georgia, as well as Wonder Woman Coaster coming to Six Flags Mexico. So, yeah. Stay tuned for more videos, guys.